this video is going to uh, discuss the reaction that we're going to do um, tomorrow synthesis of chalcone and the reaction that we're going to use to make the chalcone is uh, called the aldol condensation the aldol reaction is shown here and that's a reaction between an aldehyde and a ketone um, and you do the reaction in the presence of a strong base and in a protic solvent like uh, ethanol doesn't always have to be a protic solvent but in our case we're going to use ethanol as the solvent um, and there's a reason for that and I'll talk we'll talk more about that um, later in the video so here's acetophenone here's benzaldehyde uh, you react those two together and your initial product is what is the aldol addition product or what you call a beta hydroxy ester because the uh, hydroxyl group is here beta to the carbonyl the carbonyl is here this is the alpha position and this is the beta position right if this beta hydroxy ketone dehydrates meaning if we lose water then we have a double bond formed here where the OH is and then we get at the aldol condensation product which is the actual chalcone or uh, another name for this would be an alpha beta unsaturated uh, carbonyl compound so the chalcone is here now let's talk about the mechanism so I start with acetophenone uh, my, my base comes in and deprotonates acetophenone giving me this molecule here okay so this uh, anion this carbanion here can then undergo resonance to give me what is known as an enolate so you can see the resonance arrows here I break the pi bond these electrons come here and I get this uh, species which we call an enolate right en all en for the double bond and all for the uh, oxygen here which will which could um, be interpreted as an OH group so it's an enol all right if you remember from part one we talked about enol tautomerism all right so then the enolate now this is a nucleophile it's the carbon in the enolate this carbon right here that is the nucleophilic site that's going to attack the carbonyl of the aldehyde so let's look at the arrows here so this double bond uh, the electrons in this double bond are going to attack the carbonyl of the aldehyde you break the pi bond and then you reform the pi bond here to get in this case an aldolate which is this compound here right once that is if that's protonated right remember we're doing this in ethanol and and uh, so there are some uh, acidic protons present so once this gets protonated you get a beta hydroxy ketone which is the aldol addition product now where does the uh, aldol condensation product come from well if we start with the beta hydroxy ketone if we protonate that right we convert the OH into water all right water is a good leaving group and so now if we if we have a base to come in and deprotonate here you can see the arrows where I deprotonate here I use this pair of electrons to put a double bond here and I lose water this is an elimination reaction and the type of uh, elimination uh, can either be E2 or E1 in this case since it's in a protic solvent it probably happens uh, via E1 All right so here's the aldol condensation product and then here's the water that was lost uh, from elimination so this uh, mechanism here is a little bit misleading because if it's E1 the alcohol is the water is actually going to leave first but we'll talk more about that in class but what I want you to understand is that um, the w in order to do the condensation and lose water and form the double bond here you have to do an elimination the elimination happens when I convert the hydroxyl group here to a good leaving group by protonating it all right so we lose water here so let's look at the procedure really quickly uh, you're going to need benzaldehyde acetophenone distilled water ethanol sodium hydroxide ice uh, a magnetic stirrer and then either a 250 or a 125 early Meyer flask so you would add 4.4 grams of sodium hydroxide to the flask and dissolve that in 40 milliliters of water you're going to add 25 milliliters of ethanol and then cool that on an ice bath. Uh, we, this step is very important because this is the formation of the enolate. And if this step is incomplete, then 
the reaction is not going to go to completion and it's going to, and the yield is going to suffer. So you want to add your acetophenone to the Erlenmeyer flask and then swirl that for about 10 minutes on the ice bath. Then you're going to take it off the ice bath and swirl for an, about a, another additional 10 minutes at room temperature. And then after this, then you add benzaldehyde and then you're going to stir that for an hour and a half either using a magnetic stirrer or um, by, by stirring with a, a glass rod. So either way, you gotta, you're got you stirring this for one hour and a half and then after that, um, I'll give you further instructions as far as how you are to proceed. So for you right now, what you need to do is go download the procedure from Blackboard and once you download the procedure, go ahead and do your calculations because the amounts are given to you in moles so you need to look up the molar mass of benzaldehyde, the density of benzaldehyde, as well as the molar mass of acetophenone and the density of acetophenone. And I'll see you in the morning. Thanks.